Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just doing a quick uh, pickups video for the first half of the year. Uh, one thing I did forget that I left downstairs is uh, my phone got upgraded to the, the new Pixel 2 or the, the Pixel 2. I don't remember if it's how new it is in cell phone years. Um, also got a replacement of my Bluetooth uh, earphones. I got part of it caught and it snapped and insurance replacement whole thing um uh a few other things that i won't get to show you except in cutaways is uh i we were at uh goodwill and i found a and what are they called re r-i-i -I, uh keyboard and mouse they were both sitting there and i was like well that's that's kind of weird and they're they're blocky but they also light up which i thought was really cool so on my desk Next to my camera, next to my Mac, my PC now operates on the, that keyboard and mouse. Um, gonna try and grow, go in chronological order. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna screw some of this up though. So the first thing is uh, found uh, two PC games. One is because uh, I've been listening to uh, Giant Bomb, or excuse me, uh, the Beast cast of Giant Bomb, which is the folks over in New York and uh, one of the folks on there, Abby, has been talking about uh, fancy drew games. And I found this one for, I think it was 98 cents, so decided to snag it. They had a whole bunch more, but I just grabbed one at random. Um, and also there, they had the, one of the weirdest games ever, and I believe I want to say this was either on uh, Laser Time or Video Game Apocalypse, uh, one of those two. They're both on the same network, and they have a lot of crossover people, which is why I get confused. But uh, is the uh, ever-loving Chex Quest, which w is basically just a a, a, a Doom mod. Uh, it's available on uh, Archive.org, the Internet Archive, so anybody can go there and play it. Um, and those are, oh, uh, two other PC games that I got. Uh, my wife got me a, a Geekbox uh, gift uh, and ended up getting me a Space Jacked, uh, which I look forward to playing in the future. I have not had time because, man, new job, overtime, and training, just a mess. And the other one is uh, Warden Melody of Undergrowth. Hello, Ember. I guess you guys haven't heard Ember in a while. Um, this is... I found this for 98 cents as well. And I seem to find a lot of things for 98 cents. And I think it's just that they get really lazy when labeling things. But this is the Message Projector. And this is from... I believe it's from Scholastic. And basically what it is, is there's a little LED description here. You can type in, you can either uh, project the time or you can type in a message and project that on a wall. And it's got a little thing right there and it puts it up on the wall. I'll intersplice some footage here so you can see it. Uh, but that was that. Uh, the One of the places I go, uh, all the yellow tags were 50% off and I had a hankering for a Western. So I picked up uh, oops, glare, 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 no glare. Okay. Picked up the wild bunch on laser disc. Um, I, I, I love collecting laser discs, but I don't collect them often. Only when something really jumps out at me and the wild bunch uh, has a uh, Ernest Borgnine. A bunch of other people, but Ernest Borgnine is the reason that I got it. Um, now, uh, we just went to Toronto, and uh, while we were there, uh, my son had an absolute blast. It was his birthday. We went to the Poop Cafe. We played some VR. We went to uh, Snakes and Lattes, which is an outstanding uh, little chain in Toronto of uh, board game uh, cafes. So you can like eat and play games and drink and it's awesome. And we spent, I think like two, three hours there, rode public transportation all around, all kinds of fun stuff. But I ended up finding these goofy little guys. 
And these are uh, Dwarf Berserkers Regiment. And there are six of them, and I'll show all the all of them one at a time. I haven't opened them yet, just because I'm, I kind of want to hang on to them. And the cool thing is that they all have interchangeable parts. So like you can take the head off of one and swap it onto another and have two arm, whatever. Um, also uh, snagged this uh, horrible little uh, werewolf warrior. Just, I love little figures, as you can see from up there. Oh, little figures. But I uh, wanted to add him. And then of course this one just cracked me up uh, because of the title. I'm trying. Bionicle of War 3, that great, uh, that great game. And uh, also snagged while I was there because I found uh, it on sale at one of the uh, ANC games. It is an amazing place. If you have a, uh, a thing that you have been looking for and searching for and price is no object, then that is the place to go. There were things there that I was like, I would love to have this. And my son was like, why don't you have it? I said, look at the price. And he went, oh, oh yeah, well, that's why. Um, and the last thing that I got is I picked this up because we were moving around in public transportation quite a bit and I wanted to get the Pokemon Go Plus. Uh, I had wanted one forever, but I had just never actually seen them in a store. So when I saw them around and the cool thing is this connects via Bluetooth and I expected that I would still have to like hang on, hang out with the game, but the game can actually be in the background and you can even have your phone asleep and it will still blink. And basically it blinks uh, green if there's a Pokemon you've seen before, yellow if there's a Pokemon you've never seen or never caught. I can't remember the differentiation there. Blue if there's a... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. One of those. And then uh, you basically push the button if there's if it's a Pokemon, and then it, it blinks for each like wiggle, so it'll blink white, and then if it gets away, it'll blink red, and then if it doesn't get away, it'll like flash a rainbow color to let you know you got something. Uh, but that's all I've gotten up until here. This will cover up to uh, March, uh, mid March actually. So uh, once I gather enough stuff together again. Uh, who knows when that'll be. Uh, I'll go ahead and post another pickup video. Alright, well thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!